we're just trying to get out of Seville right now. We've rented a car. This is the journey to the top of Spain. And flipping heck, I can say, driving on the other side of the road in a city is not easy, especially when your partner in crime is literally just like, bro, pero la música, la música, quiero poner música. Oh, joder, será un viaje aburrido si no tengo música. Next time, bro, I don't want to come with your fucking trip, okay? Bro, you're the only person I have to travel with. You, you have to come. Yeah, with me. I get know yourself, why. Get yourself in us. We're not going to know who you are. Do you remember this guy? It's verde. Do you and remember this guy? He slept in a park with me in Saragossa because he wanted to do that challenge with me. Well, he had no choice, really. And so he's doing this challenge with me. And this challenge is where we go to the top of Spain. And we have the same pants. Yeah, the same short. Shorts. The top of Spain, what does that mean? We're going to climb Spain's highest mountain. And that is... So this, here we go, people. Way. Right, okay, I actually need to concentrate now. We'll catch up with you when we're in the supermarket. Because at the moment, we're not getting anywhere because I've been incapable of following directions. So... When we're at the supermarket, we'll catch up with you and we'll show you everything that we're going to take to do this mountain and we'll explain more. Anything you want to say? No. Cool. End it then. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We've literally been arguing. Oh, bro, honestly. Mike's so mad with me because... <laughs> do you like... I just want to put it music because I know it's better. But he don't listen to me. I say, bro, right. But I, uh, he understand another another thing. Yeah. Right here? Am I am I going round right here? Pero aquí no se puede. Tienes que ser más. Okay. Más Thank you. So where? <laughs> where? Yeah. Right. Here <laughs> or where? Here. Yeah. I can't do that. But they might say that, bro. Well, this is a flipping like. Highway. But you can do that. But you don't want it because you are so good or whatever. Fuck. I can't. Okay, the next. Just Nine minutes? Yeah. Okay. Have we been going in the right direction? Okay, I will now yeah, be done that. Yeah, but no listen to me. I say, bro, in the first time, I say to you, I told you, bro, this is little. And you say, no, because have on my plan, exactly. use your phone. Correct. Okay? And you take your phone and use that. And now, when he knows that have a really big mistake, it's like when he say, oh, yes, Camilo, you have a right. I have made mistakes. Right? I planned and I made some mistakes with directions. That's not your fault. It's my fault. But no, it's the, uh, you yeah? don't understand. But then the plan gets cancelled and then you have to create a new plan. Yeah, I, I and did. And you want to argue with me while we're just driving somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> right, what's the plan? Go to the leader, I guess. Right. <laughs> We've been trying to do that for Look. about 30 minutes. It's right. It's okay. no. It's no when? When? I don't understand when? why he looks. Bro. When am I going right? We've tried to improve on our communication because there was a lot of argument, a lot of stress and we've basically taken, what time is it? We've taken about 40 minutes to get to the closest Lidl, so we're still in Sevilla. But trust me, it's hard driving on the other side of the road, an automatic. An automatic? Everything. Why you speak like you have potato in your mouth? An automatic? Do you think you're in a position? Position or potato? Position. I say potato. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, right. Are you ready? Because, yeah, I'm ready. you know, if we don't arrive by a certain time, we won't be able to get the key? Yeah, but solo necesito que esto suene más duro. Okay, well, what you want to do is you want to turn the volume up for that? Where's the volume? Right. Are you happy now? Are you happy? <laughs> Finally, mate! We have fucking music! Because I can make a tree four hours with my without music. We're gonna climb a mountain. Because llevamos the 10 three minutos thousand, en el carro y hemos peleado dos veces, dos veces. And we need food for that. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh. Right. So this is the whip that we're taking, Peugeot. And yeah, so. Let me get some money, and I've got the list on my phone, which is still in the car, watch out. 
in the celular. Yeah, can you get my phone? So I've got a list of everything we need to take. So what, what we're doing is actually very serious. Do you understand what we're doing is serious? I don't like the serious. Sorry. No, you don't like to be serious. Okay. Can you just hold something, please? Right, can I just say something? What we're doing is very serious because this is Spain's highest mountain. Camilo, do you understand that this is a mountain and it's very high? Dangerous? Yes. Okay, good. So this is Lidl, right? Yeah. Basically, what we're going to climb is 300, 3,400 metres high and we're doing it in one day. Most people would do this in two or three days, but we're doing it in one day because we think we're two very... Two or three days? You didn't yeah. tell me that. Mate, we are going up 2,000 metres in one day. We're doing an ascent of 2,000 <coughs> metres in one day. That means that we need all the food and water for a whole day, right? So it's really like serious stuff. That's why we're here in Lidl right now, because we've got no other time. We're going to be starting at about 4 or 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. And it's 6 p.m. currently in Sevilla, and we've got a four-hour drive. There's a lot to say, flipping heck. Let's just, let's just get what we need to get, Camilo. Bro, I'm trying to send money to myself. If you're flipping... Bro, I'm trying to send money to myself. Oh my God. Does anybody else want to travel with me? Because he's really flipping annoying me. I'm trying to send money to myself. If you press I listen to you the first time, bro. If you, I yeah, if you press the wrong button, uh, it might uh, go to uh, someone uh, else. Uh, God, you at least This, we did this. Yes, that's why I put them in there. I don't like that. Well, we'll only have one. No, 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 good, do it. Oh, you're fucking we'll pesado, bro. Está pesado este tío. No hemos almorzado, Dios. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Dónde estamos? Bro, no, no, no hemos comido nada en todo el día. Well, good job we're in a supermarket then. So maybe you can buy somewhere. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I, I try and do things, right? Plan things, buy food, and all he wants to do is touch my nipples and go, huh, huh, what a stupid idiot. Uh. <laughs> so far we've got a few donuts, raspberries, cheese, and jamón serrano. serrano. Um, so right now we need some protein shakes. Here we have some protein shakes. Realistically, we've got a lot to buy because we're going to need food for the whole day. So let's do four of these. So this is all the water for one day, which is tomorrow. So all of them for Camilo, all of them for me, just in that one hike. And then the other one we've got just for drinking, like you know for the rest of the day just to stay hydrated because obviously altitude can affect us at this height that we're going to so the priority is to stay hydrated si. Por si tú vas a cagar. yes and we do need some toilet paper maybe just tissues though como pan, pañuelo no 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 voy a llevar todo eso como un Un pequeño paquete. I always say, oh, I don't want to eat, I don't want to eat. And then, he finished all the food. That's right? I'd say that's mm, kind of correct, yeah. Okay. If you understand, it's okay. Si, creo que tenemos lo suficiente, si. Wow, people. Dale, ponlo. Pretty, pretty stressful, really, to think that like this food has got to last us for the whole day tomorrow. But I reckon we've got enough. So, protein shakes, cereal bars, bit of chocolate, raspberries, cheese for the sandwiches. Milo's put them in for the sandwiches, snacks for the sandwiches, dried fruit, a few bananas, croissants, bread, and all the water. Okay. Did so we have to call a different number. Okay, we finished here. But we are waiting for Mike because here he is half up to five. Because she has her broke car. I don't know what they say. I'm going to speak in Spanish. Mike está ayudando a la señora porque ha roto su carro. Pero ella no habla inglés, perdón, no habla español. Y 
la empresa de su carro es solo en español. Entonces, Mike habla inglés y español, entonces le está ayudando. Y ahora está ahí. Con ella. Left Camilo uh, in charge of the translations. He's speaking to somebody on the phone in Spanish and then uh, in English to the German woman who needs help. But it's literally like almost seven o'clock and we need to get to this town, this village, by about, I think about half past 11 at night. It's a four hour drive. So I've got literally no time to waste. We need to get all this stuff in the car. So that's why Camilo's in charge of communications and I'm literally just gonna throw this in. This is, oh my God, it's, it's a cracker's journey right now. I'll be honest with you. I'll be really honest with you. What's happening? They're gonna come for her. Yeah. She had to wait many, maybe one hour or more. Yeah. But yes, this is up. Cool. We can do. Good. That's we've done all that we've needed to do. So this is it, people. We've got the food, everything, water. Like Where that's is, it. Where is that Miss Moras, bro? Miss Moras. Right. Wow, it's cool, Andrew. Vamos a comer esto ya. Cómete lo que quieras ahora, no me importa. Yo leo esa esencia, ya estamos en camino para ver el tiempo de llegar a la ruta de la... So basically, um, they're saying they're on the way. Yeah. Click on the link if you want to see when Where they, they will are. arrive. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah so so... so the... It's probably yeah. like... Yeah. Uh, it says estimated time of arrival 7.45, so you've got an hour. One hour? Yeah. Oh right, anyway, Thank thanks, bye bye. So what is it? 6.45. Bro, do you know something, bro? Okay, bro. Is this music? No. Okay, bro. No vamos a pelear más, ¿ok? He's just said, no more arguments. No more arguments, yeah? Arguments o peleas? Yeah. No, no peleas. We're not, fight. we're not gonna fight more. Bro, but what? Puedo traducir. Ok, sorry. <laughs> ok, no more arguments. Four hours, no arguments. Deal? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I just wanna say one thing, right? I don't know if you heard my phone call earlier, but we're gonna arrive when the reception has already closed. Yeah. That means the keys will be in the restaurant. Okay, bro. But the restaurant will close. We, we are need, here. We need to arrive before the restaurant we are closes. Here. We need to go. What? Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna take okay. this street? And then? And then we go see, bro. Um, straight on or left? No. Straight on? The motorcycle. Following the yeah. motorcycle. Motorcycle. Got it. But I can't wait until we're just on a straight road and we can just listen to music. Um, straight, right? Is that stuff? What? Derecho, no sé. Straight, straight on. Okay, got it, bro. Navigation has failed. Nobody's fault, right? It's just, it's just failed, okay? <laughs> so what we're doing now is we're going to use these things called road signs. So, for example, we've got Sevilla, Granada, Malaga. Vamos a Granada. Basically, we're on the way to Granada. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to come off here, going right. And, and this is it, mate. Road signs. So Camilo, put the music on, Jesus. Yo traté casi ni habla, pero la tuya es una falla. Y hoy se puso mini falta. Fili en la tribu, tú en la falta. Ahí. Y yo te sé papi. Papi, sí. Aquí viene, voy a subirlo. ¿A subirle o a bajarle? No, subirlo después, cuando, cuando venga. ¿Sabes? Entonces le relajamos ahora. Relájate y 
yo hago lo subo y vamos como ya hace tiempo, ¿vale? ¿Sí? Ok. Ya hace tiempo que no venías a mi cabeza, pero me mandaron cerveza y me acorté de que como me mueveza. Esto lo planto encima de la mesa y en el carro, en la cama, en el hotel, en casa de tu madre cuando yo te iba a ver. La vez el que me da y me pegó a coger, disfrutando mojaditas, disfrutando el chanel. Yo sé que lo nuestro es cosa de ayer, pero tú no... Two hours and 30 minutes to go. We've just stopped off. Camilo needs a wee wee. Look at our shorts, look at our shorts. We're not messing about. Honestly, we're letting everybody know that we are climbing the highest mountain in Spain tomorrow. We're not messing about, are we, Cam? Camilo's got uh, Spanish lessons. That's what he does, apart from his full-time job. He teaches Spanish online, so he's got two lessons back to back at 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. So they're gonna be like podcasts for me. So it'll be quite cool. But I'm gonna get him some uh, food right now because he's gotta run back to the car. So people, I've got the pizzas. Diet is not really ideal just before climbing a mountain. But to be honest, we've got absolutely no choice. It has been horrendously hectic. But this is what it is. This is the service station, people get back in the car, Camilo will be doing his lesson. So hopefully I don't disturb him too much. Y, um, sí. y fue muy, muy, muy difícil conseguir billetes, ¿no? Como 100 alemanes en el metro eran como oh, okay. no, tacho, oh. estaban loquísimos uh, año y medio Uf, ¿Qué? es muy bien es muy bueno dios es, quién es un crack <risa> <risa> right people so little bit of an update we are off the motorway basically although it's only like two lanes anyway the time is five minutes past ten we've got one hour and five minutes of driving left and basically now we can see the mountains up there. You won't be able to see it on camera. But we're basically dark. We're probably at an altitude of, I don't know, I'm guessing like 300, 400, 500 meters, something like that. But we're going all the way up to 1,500 meters. And that's basically the starting point for the hike. So I will explain a little bit more about that tomorrow when we're hiking but um, yeah for now an hour more on the road Camilo's finished his classes he's eating his pizza how do you feel Camilo? I siento muy bien yeah I feel so good um, I'm so happy because Mike is really really nice and Camilo just started asking me questions like oh mate we're the best team ever oh we're great we're like so funny <laughs> you didn't together. say that yeah bro you're saying all that and then he started asking me questions like Oh mate, uh, if I die before you, what are you gonna do? And if you die before me, what are you gonna do? Like it's not my question well, that, because you are my best friend, so I need to be prepared. Yeah, but mate, the things I don't know. I, I don't know how to lie without you. You don't know how to live without me. Yes. So if you die, I need to do something for close this beautiful etapa in my life. You got it? Okay, bro. Me encanta subir montañas. Siempre quería ver, siempre quería subir una montaña con mi amigo. No sabes si te encanta subir montañas. Me encanta. Si nunca has subido una montaña. It's Camilo's first mountain to climb. He's probably a little bit naive about the altitude, about how difficult it is. But we're gonna give it, man. We've both got so much energy. Tenemos toda la energía del mundo, ¿no? 
tú y yo. Tenemos mucha energía, ¿no? Sí. Ok, ya está. ¿En Troubles? This is the map. The map. The roads are so, so windy. But, you know, they're mountain roads, aren't they? So, makes sense. But I'm so ready to finish this car journey, to be honest. It's been a while. This is it, people. You can just see the lights of Treveles. Spain's highest village. And that is it in front of us. Treveles as well. I hope you can see it on camera. It looks mad. We're getting the key from the restaurant because it's... 20 past 11, that's why. I'm just gonna do a bit of a jog. Pero puede llegar Munacen sin nieve. Comprende? Okay. Pero en cima de Munacen hay nieve. No. Oh, no. Ahí en, los, en las laderas. Ok, vamos a hacerlo mañana desde aquí. Desde aquí. Sí. Por siete lagunas. Siete lagunas. Sí. Por Solamente vas a cruzar nieve dos, tres sitios. No más. Ok, y no es tanto nieve. No. Perfecto. Ok, basically said, there is a little bit of snow on Munacen but not so much. Cool little town. Flipping looks sick. And it's actually got like a supermarket. It's a little bit chilly now. And I'm super excited to see how Camilo's gonna deal with what he's agreed to, because this could be 10, 11, 12 hours tomorrow of just pure climbing. Uh, it will be a challenge for me. So, Camilo is super fit. We'll see. We'll see how he deals. But I think, like, mentally, he will potentially crumble before physically. Good morning, people. Camilo started snoring after literally about a minute. That was at about half one. And we woke up at about eight, pretty much. So, what's that? Six and a half. I probably didn't sleep straight away. So, my tank's not full, I'll be honest with you. But his tank will definitely be full. So, Camilo said he's the master of subir los ánimos. ¿Qué? You're the master of subiendo los ánimos, no? ¿Qué? You're the master of subiendo los ánimos, ¿sí? ¿Por qué? Eso dijiste ayer. No. Sí, le dijiste a tu estudiante ayer que tú subes los ánimos... Yo planeo. Solo di que sí. No. Oh, he doesn't remember it. He said to a student yesterday, he's the master of creating like energy, good vibes, and I plan. I don't know if... I mean, no. I don't, I don't trust it's like it's gonna die, you know. I have a stuff for shoes so I can put her in and I have You know, I'll come through for a year. I'll be giving my best to Sammy B and I can say you for you, just die when I'm big or something like you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you know where we are. Do you know where we are? Right, the plan is we're going to breakfast when this child starts behaving himself. He doesn't understand. Anyway, we're going to breakfast. So, what have you got on your head, mate? That's mine. That's mine. I, I have once. Good luck on you the are mountain. the only person. Good luck on the mountain. You are the, the mountain, only person. Good luck the... on the mountain. Why? That's a joke. Okay. I've got one of them as well. Today is going to be a hard climb. I've climbed, I think, about five mountains now. And it might be like the second hardest, or it might actually be the hardest, even though it won't be the highest. Why is that? Because obviously the altitude that you start at has an impact on how much you actually climb. You know, if a mountain's 4,000 meters, but you start at 3,000, you're only climbing 1,000 meters. So this one is 3,400 meters, but we, we're starting at 1,400 or 1,500. Basically, it's 2,000 meters incline, right? So if you live in England, you'll know Snowdon. Depending on the route, you basically go up like 800, 900 meters. We're going up 2,000, so what we're doing today is like Snowden, but twice, and then a little bit more. But then on top of that, we've got the altitude. That's why we're just trying to stay super hydrated. Um, altitude can affect you at potentially more than 2,000 or 2,500 meters, and we're going up to 3,400 meters. So the air might get a little bit thinner, you might just feel more tired 
and you don't expect to feel like that. So, to be honest, I want Camilo. This might sound a bit bad, but I want him to suffer a little bit. I generally do. Not in a bad way, but I just want him to see what a mountain is about. He's got so much energy, he thinks he's in great physical condition, and he may be, but I just want to put him to the test. And I think 10, 11 or 12 hours climbing a mountain, ascending 2,000 metres, is a good test. So, let's do it. Maybe we'll meet some people on the way. You ready? Yeah. Flipping out. Let's go. This is what we're going to do, people. You can see the town of Drebe is there. And that's Molassin Peak. So, boom, we go somewhere like that. Okay, everyone. Mike is in the shower now. And I think he's a little bossy. He always wants to be a leader. You know, I'm a leader, natural leader. And he have a plan. I listen to him. And he had he, he had a really good plan. But I'm a good leader, so I'm gonna follow him in this trip. But he never listened to other people. He always like, oh we need to do that, we need to do that, we need to do that. I say, okay bro, you have a plan, it's your idea, it's your dream, because he always talk about oh I need to claim the Iron Mountain, I need to claim the Iron Mountain. I say, okay bro, we're gonna do that. We can do that. I'm your brother. I'm gonna stay with you because I'm gonna do that too for you, for me, for us, you know? But he never listened. He always says, no, I have the right, I have the right, blah, 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 blah. I have the reason. And then, when he have a big mistake, he say, okay, yes. Make you okay. This bro, yes. Because you never listen. He's so nice. He's a very person, really good person. And the good things in mind is he has a lot of patience with me. Because I'm talking a lot. I have a lot of energy in the morning. I don't know why. I don't know why, we always when I wake up, it's like, oh, I want to run, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, Camilo, I need to respect that mis caderas, you know, I don't know how to say that. But he always, when I wake up, he can walk. So when he, he can walk, but he can't when he's in the morning, because his body wake up later, you know. It's like 10 a.m. and his body's like, okay, it's start to. It's time for two star, and he's really cool. He's really cool, honestly. But yeah, I don't have a lot of energy in the morning and all day. And nice more like, okay, Camilo, patient, shut the fuck up, Camilo, shut the fuck up. Um, but yeah, I think this day gonna be so crazy, so great. We're gonna see what he's doing, Mike. Um, but but yeah, he's nice. I thought we're gonna fight a lot in the mountain because we are different. We have a lot of different personalities. I'm so and so like passionate person, you know. Always when I need, when I need to say something, I gonna say that. But now it's more like, mm, I don't know. Always he he asks me, oh, what do you, what do you want to do? Say, bro, I don't know. Tell me you. You are you have the plan. He write a, literally a book for this trip. Everything he write. So he had the plan. I'm gonna follow him. But if you need uh, advice from me, uh, from me, I'm gonna say that. Obviously, man. Uh, what are you doing? It's Mike. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just. Uh, sharing the view with the people. Uh -huh. These are the first moments. This is senderismo, no? Yep. This is the first moment. Start. Boom. This is it, people. Let's go. Here we go, familia. You ready, bro? Yeah. I'm happy now. Oh, let's do it. Pregúntame en una hora. One hour. This is it, people. This is the start. Quite a steep incline to get out of the village. Quite hard because we've got five litres of water each. So, it's a lot of water. The worst thing you want, last thing you want, is to not have water. Hello everyone. We are here. Um, just checking. We are live, see Come on, Bob, to my hey, you It's the British accent for you, man. I love the bird accent, but I think when you talk to me, you force your accent because you don't want to, then I understand the, the things that I'm going to say to you, <laughs> because you want to make me feel like it's stupid because you always make jokes about my English. And I know my English is not perfect, but I'm try, I'm try to learn, bro. And it's really hard. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
cracky. Oh, my, it takes me another. The most England wall in the wall is cracky. Like, oh, cracky. Oh, cracky. Oh, hell, cracky. Oh, <laughs> come on, you are cracky. It's not about cow. It's like a cow with horns, but they look pretty beastly. We're gonna have to walk past them. Camilo, you've got the stick, yeah? What is the stick? That's the stick. Yeah. You know what to do with it, yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay, cool. So if it comes, I'll just stay behind you, yeah? He can come, because if you bring, if you jump, he's gonna die, or she. I don't know. Why am I not so scared? We've got snow on there. Down there, we can't actually see the village of Treveles anymore. This is actually beautiful. But what we've got, is a beast. What are you gonna do? We've got to walk past it. To how? What do you mean how? Come on. Right, my, no. Bro, tienes que estar tranquilo y caminar normal. My es una mujer. Huh? Es una mujer, solo le hablas bonito ya. Yeah. No, it's not, no. No. Bro, agarre mi mano. No, bro, no. La montaña no se espera. Mira, no le no les importa. No. ¿Pero? No ya, puede... la montaña puede esperar, ¿ok? No puede esperar. Ya, bro. Vente aquí, tonto. No. Bro, voy a... Bro, so the... bro míralo. No, no está interesado en lo que tú estás haciendo. Solo tienes que caminar normal, mira. Bro, bro. Bro, Just sí. wait, bro. No gritas, ¿vale? No grites. Bro, en estos momentos, esperar no te ayuda. Hazlo ya. Bro, ha visto... Have to do... yeah, we, we bro. For camino, bro. No, no podemos. Bro, bro. hemos visto... Esa, esa tonta ha visto a muchas personas antes. Qué tonta. Ya, yeah, but look. Bro. I think it's not the right way. No hay otra forma, yeah, mira. Look, this... Solo vamos a ver otra si vamos fuera de camino. Ven, vente. No, Mike. No, Mike, no, 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 Mike. Mike, no. Wait. He's coming, his friends, for us. Bro, I'm gonna f leave you. Solo actúa normal. No, bro, bro, it's, not, it's so big. Shh. No grites, actúa normal. Mike, no, it's fucking... No, no, no se está mirando. Mike, 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 Mike. no. Mike, vas a, me vas a dejar. ¿Me vas a dejar? Sigue. ¿Me vas a dejar, bro? Voy a... Sigue. No puedo. Sí puedes. No, no me digas a... que no puedas. ¿Dónde, dónde, ¿Cómo? Pero ahí no hay, sal... no hay entrada, bro. Es la ruta. ¿Vale? Tenemos que seguir en camino. Ahora está pensando... Tírale una piedra para que se vaya. No, no va a hacer eso. Sí va a hacerlo. Bro, no hace falta que enseñamos regresión. Está tranquilo. Míralo, está tranquilo. ¿Tú has, has hecho esto alguna vez? ¿Has pasado sí, por, muchas veces. por una vaca? Sí. ¿Tan grande? Sí. Entonces ven. Vente aquí. Ahora. Pero espérame. No hay que esperar. Tienen más miedo de nosotros. ¿No? Sí. Ven. Pero no, no... Mira cómo está, bro. Tú no sabes... Pero, ¿dónde es el camino? Por ahí no veo. Bro, está por aquí. Vale, yo voy a subir por acá. Yo voy a subir por aquí. Ah, ¿Quieres meterte por ahí? ¿Puedes hacerlo? Sí, ¿se puede? No se puede, pero... Es lo que... Intentaré. Ah. Hay como... Vas a subir al Molacén, ¿no? Eh, no, voy a hasta Siete Lagunas. Siete Lagunas, vale. So we're just over an hour into the hike. This terrain is quite difficult because it's like, it's not really rock. It's a little bit loose. Just makes it a tiny bit harder on your legs. So, yeah, not much to say. I'm just gonna crack on. 
one hour down, ten to go. Right people, so we just stopped off. Huh? Really nice lookout point here. Got this rock. This is it, somewhere down there is where we started in Treveles. Got the mountain and we're continuing up there. Update people, we're at about 2,300 meters. Camilo, how are you feeling? So bad. So bad and? Just that. Just that, okay. I want more. Very good. And in front of us, we've got a bit of snow on the mountains. Good. So a waterfall right in front of us. Here we've got a little bit of a makeshift house. I think you can go in to get some rest. It's a little bit colder now. A little bit harder to breathe, but... Refugio de la Montaña. La Campiñuela. This is what it looks like inside. Oh, absolutely nothing. Pasa, pasa. I don't know. I think you've got like, something to dry your clothes. I don't know, a mat somebody's left. If you're, if you're really struggling and you want to spend the night there, you can, but it's actually colder, more cold inside than outside. <laughs> Hi guys. Hope we're not disturbing your peace. We want to pass sin problemas. Gracias. So here's the update from the numbers point of view. We've climbed 1,000 meters. So let's say this was Snowdon, we'd already be at the top now. But as I said, it's like doing Snowdon twice. So what does that mean? We've got another 1,000 meters to go. So we've walked just under eight kilometers. And I think this next bit will get steeper because there's still 1,000 meters of incline to go. It's getting difficult. I think the altitude is affecting me because it's just a tiny bit harder to get oxygen in and my body just feels a bit weaker. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse than this. It's gonna be a slog, a slog, whatever, slog to the top. We did see the peak in view. I think Camilo's doing all right. I think he's doing okay. French man behind us, he's not going all the way to the top though. So there'll be a point where we're left on our own to scale the mountain. We went slightly off trail we went up there, but actually we've got to cross this river here. So now we've got to find the best place to cross. Oof, that's a difficult one. Have a look at it. I'm down there. Camilo has gone across here. Not too bad. Doesn't look like he's found anything. Might do this one. Not easy. We've just done a few more calculations, so me and Camilo have potentially got six or seven hundred meters left, which is a lot. Again, that's basically like climbing Scarfell Pike. So the inclination is going to get pretty steep. French guy has got another two hundred to three hundred meters left. 
So, yeah, we've enjoyed his company. It's been good to chat. And, yeah, Camilo is doing all right. A bit tired, but we're on, let's say, almost the final leg. Although, yeah, the inclination is going to be challenging and the altitude won't get any easier. Just as we get on top of this ridge, we can see it's not over yet. There's more. A peak with snow. Now we're finding people. There's a guy here. I was at work. I was folding towels and I had an idea message Camilo, I was like, bro, do you want to climb a mountain? And he said, yes. yeah, okay. Uh, no sé qué es el pico, si será ese o no sé, pero... Brilliant people, this is the wilderness. I think this must be Siete Lagunas uh, right now because that seems like some sort of lake. This is beautiful. I don't know what it is, but you know, you can see the mountains there. We've climbed so far more than 1,200, 1,300, maybe 1,400 meters at this point. And then you just have this like flat surface. Don't you think that is flipping beautiful? We're gonna have lunch now though. We 100% deserve it. It's about half past one. So yeah, man's called me over. He said he's got some clean water for me. Let's hope he's got good intentions. Let's have a look. Ah, es la chica. Yo creo que no se ha fiado de lo que le he dicho. Vale. Yo no había dicho que bajara hasta el mirador. Ella no quiere subir al mirador. Ah, okay. Quiere ir a. Ella quería hacer una circular para no bajar por el mismo lado. Entonces yo le he dicho que tirase hacia la izquierda. That looks clean, that does. There we go, people. I'm, I'm putting the trust in the hands of a Frenchman. <laughs> so, the purest water that you can find in El Mundo. Sí, sí. Okay. Uh. Se ve bien, eh? sí, sí. See how it tastes. Wow. There we go, people. That's it. Mountain water from somewhere in La Sierra Nevada. Clean as it gets. <laughs> Fish. Ah, oh, wonderful. Go on. I have asked several people because yeah. I wanted to do a circular wood road. Route. Yeah. I came from here, from Travelis, yeah. and I wanted to go here. I, I walked like 1.5 kilometers, but there was a big snow field. Okay. So where do you want to go then? Siete kilometers. Do right you want to go back to Travelis? Yes. Okay, well, it's down there. And yes, you, I want to. I have asked me. From the, this, uh, this, uh, I came from here and I go back the same way. No, you have another one. Huh? You go, you go there? No, not Mulhasen. No, 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 not Mulasen. Before Mulasen, you have another track and you can go to the to a, a Mirador. A yes, that is my, that is what I want. But there's a big snow field. Ah. I was, I was, there is a path, 
Yes, sir, yes, sir. Let's give this to Camilo, see what he says. What's that? It is bread, Philadelphia and ham. Here it is. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna die. No, you're not. See, my gonna Come die. Here. Take a nice bite of that. <laughs> Says he's gonna die. Hello, everyone. My is there. He's trying to make friends, and he just he's se pone ahí enfrente de ellos y los mira. You know, and he's oh, where are you going? You fucking idiot. They don't wanna be your friends. They don't gonna, bro. I don't wanna record with you, bro. My, it's forcing me. You ready to go, Suvid? You ready to go? That is a view, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! There's an animal. Probably can't see it on camera. Ibex. I think it's a mountain ibex. These views are sick, though. I like them. This is the ridge. When Camilo is not in a good mood, he'll just stand and look at you. He'll just stare at you, he won't do anything. I'll put my thumbs up and he'll just be like. It's tough. It is tough. We've got 400 meters to go. Right, we're on a bit of snow. Hopefully it doesn't last. I think we should be okay. We should be careful, because we don't have crampons. I didn't expect there to be snow, but it's kind of good quality snow. And I'm not the one worth walking first. So, hopefully we'll be okay. <laughs> no, no, we are gonna... He caught me, he caught me. He's not feeling the best. To be honest, I'm okay. Um, I think you go through phases where, you know, it hits you, it goes off, it hits you. When I say it hits you, I mean, you just feel the altitude, you feel the air, you feel your legs. But I think, I think we're in decent condition. He says that his stomach hurts a bit but I think it's actually mentally. I think deep down Camilo is competitive and he doesn't want to fail. And I think he's a little bit scared of failing, but I'm not going to let him. Look, here he comes. He says, go, go without me. I'm like, nah, start walking a bit. And he's just there, he's just there. That's the peak. The peak of Molasin. 3,400 and something meters high. The highest point in the peninsula of Spain. Spain's second highest mountain, technically. But we can call it Spain's highest. <laughs> Not including the Canary Islands. The last 200 meters. Got a slight headache now. I've got energy, but it will kill you as soon as you start going down because you've not got that motivation of the top. Although, to be fair, we're looking forward to just getting into a comfortable place, i.e., a restaurant, hydrate ourselves, and get to bed. We're crossing the last Puta madre. We're crossing the last bit of snow. We've got 100 meters left. 100 meters left. Out of the 2,000. 2,000 meters in one day. <laughs> Who's idea? Oh wait, yeah. We're probably about 40 meters from the top. 
we're rewarded. We're reward. We're reward. We're rewarded with a bloody good view. I'm gonna wait for Camilo. Should just be behind me right now. I'm gonna climb the last bit with him. And I'll be recording the final moments. We're at about 3,400 meters. And we've got, yeah, 34 to do, 40, something like that. No more than 50. We can see the point up there. We're in a nice shaded spot, but the last 15 meters, maybe that's only 10, I don't know. 10 or 15 meters, you're ready Camilo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave my stick there from the way down. I'm gonna leave my stick. You ready man? Let's do it. But do you, you wanna leave? Yeah, cause we gotta come back down here. But what is it? I wanna take another route there, right? Bro, should we not worry about getting down? Should we get to the top? No, no, tenemos que volver un poquito por acá, pero luego hay otra otra ruta. Solo tenemos que vamos. Let's go. How do you feel, Camilo? Huh? How do you feel? I'm good. I feel super. Yeah. Yes. Finally, bro. Seven. No, almost eight hours after we're gonna arrive. So that's amazing. Probably just under eight hours of walking. It said on the sign seven, but it has taken us eight. Oh, we have a new co um, college on front, but we don't know. Yeah, we don't know where he is. Maybe he die. Maybe, but we have to wait for him to get some nice photos. Yeah, of course. for enjoying your your adventure it's really nice I thanks for so coming proud with me. me i'm proud of you man i know have I'm a so look just do a 360 <laughs> bro there's, there's the animal look huh can you see the animal what that one we are at 3400 and something meters highest mountain in the spanish peninsula I remember you lying exactly like that. I lie. Like, como acostado. Yeah. En una, en a, en a beach of yeah. Valencia. Y ahora estás acostado en el punto más alto de España. Okay, Camilo doesn't really care about, oh, it's the biggest point. I'm a car, but I'm tired, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos a estar en la playa de Málaga con una cervecita. Viendo a unas chicas guapas. Oh. Un colombiano. En inglés. <laughs> no dijiste eso en el video. <laughs> Un colombiano. <laughs> We got a Colombian. He's what you call. Un caleño. Tú eres un caleño. Yes. He is, he is a caleño. ¿Qué significa caleño? What, me, what, what caleño means? I'm from Cali, the city of Salsa. Yeah. The Salsa city. The capital city of Salsa. And we have a world. friend. We have a new friend. But he, he... In this moment he's thinking, oh my god. My life is horrible. But this moment is perfect. You know, he suffered a lot inside. Cry. Maybe all oh, Maybe he... He have... He don't have wife anymore, and well, the kids don't love him. <laughs> but he is here. <laughs> he is here, bro. And he feel good just for a a moment. But when he come back house, turn, turn the camera towards you. <laughs> what were you saying about him? When he goes home, 
you're gonna feel alone again. <laughs> you're gonna cry more than cried last night before yeah, the start of this part. It's a f idea. <laughs> and you know what? The horrible part of the history is like, he's like me in the future. Mm. You're gonna be about 40 without kids. I'm gonna do the, th the same thing that my father do with me. Left job. Fandom me, yeah. You're the champion, my friend. This is actually almost more exciting than seeing the pico de bolas in. This is Trebeles, this is our casa for today. Correct. That little village down there is the highest village in, I've already repeated it, okay, whatever. And we're going down there. So, basically this has been like fairly flat. We've only gone down about 800 meters and we've got 1,200 to do. So although you can see, we're not actually that far. We have to be rápido porque se está haciendo de noche. It's half past eight at night. Half past eight, do you reckon if we do this in about three hours? If I say half past nine, half past 10, half past nine, okay. Well, anyway, look, we're going to lose the sun. We've got lights. Oh, tenemos que cruzar un poco de nieve. Yeah, that would be interesting. Podemos así, no? Y como, bro? Podríamos pasarnos por aquí? Bro, la ruta de la ruta, coño. So, I think we're both... No, pero la ruta, a veces, la ruta la construyes tú también. Puedes crear otra ruta. Ya, ya, joder. Pero bueno, tú así, como quieras. Has subido una montaña. Ahora sí, quieres crear subido. tus propias rutas. Yes. Hi fans, I'm Camilo. Okay. This is the snow we've got across. Um, and yeah, Treveles está ya amor. Que vamos a llegar. No, I'm not. No. Okay, sí, lo voy a decir. So this people. This people right now, we've got 900 meters to go down. That's pretty much the same. Um, I, can't, I, can't, I can't function right now. That's basically the same amount of meters that you would go down if you're climbing Snowdon. So, to give you an idea of how that looks, that's the town, the village, Treveles. Those white buildings for you probably look like white spots. That's 900 meters. So, yeah, to give you an idea, it's just like, to give you an idea, it's like going down Snowden after we've already gone all the way up there. But anyway, let's get it done. We're both, as they would say in Spanish, Estamos reventados. How would you say that in English? We're fucked. This is just a zigzag from hell. When you can't see the village, you just like crying inside. But then you'll get a glimpse of it and you'll be like, oh, wow, lights, electricity. I can't wait until I see the first person of whatever it is. I'm just going to be like, can I just hug it? Okay, no, I'm not. Sorry. Remove that from your mind, what I just did. That was very not me, okay? We've so got 300 metres more. This is pretty brutal, but we're like, we're just keeping the mood like really high. It's cracking jokes, stuff like that. Although, I'm really feeling it on my legs now, like, they are fatigued, I'll be honest with you. Viva! Viva Inglaterra, bueno no, viva Colombia. Si. Viva Inglaterra y viva Colombia. Oh my god. This is the first house, this is the first house we're seeing. Calle Charquillo. Oh my god, that's the best moment of my life. Bro. Sí, ahora oh my god. Que... Wow. I'm barely That's walking. Aquí, bro. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, ayuda, ayuda. Estamos oh. aquí, le puedo ayudar. Lo hemos hecho. Pero eso fue 
Okay, sorry, let's do it in English because I'm recording. That was. Come on, get sorry. You have Spanish public too, bro. Oh, Who? Yeah. Oh, wow. You and my Spanish teacher. I think that's about it, to be honest. Right, that. Que pueblo tan bonito. Okay, it's not interested. <laughs> it was hard, let's be honest. It was hard. We might continue the video, like, do just like one clip tomorrow just to see how we're feeling, how our bodies are. But honestly, it gets you on the way down. We're on the way back down. So, like, my legs are, 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 are absolutely done for, I'll be honest. I'm better at going up than Dan. <gasps> Hello, today is the next day. Estoy con mi amigo Mike. Okay, vamos a subir molación hoy también. Yeah. Te duele, te duele. Mm. Hello, people. Okay, good morning. Today we're gonna walk uh, for Trebles because this pueblo is really, really beautiful. And um, really, today, I when I when I wake up, I thought, oh my god, I want. Fuck. <laughs> when I wake up, I thought, oh, maybe I want to go another mountain, you know, you know? but my mind, it's, that's my mind say now, but yesterday, I say, never in my life, and I feel so good, but oh, Mike, it's not like that. I've got no problems at all, if you want to do it again today, we can do it. I don't understand what he's saying to me, but yes. <laughs> How are you feeling, Camila? I feel so good and feel so excited because this trip has everything, mountain, beach, um, and uh, another things that I can say it in the camera, but I love the aventures. Fair <laughs> enough. So this is Travelers, people. Travelers. And we've got, what, one hour? Gonna have a look at Travelers. No, one hour, no. Well, yeah, it's half 10 now, and we've got to check out at 12. So half 10, half 11, 30 minutes to pack up. It's 20 minutes, no? It's half ten. Okay, twenty to eleven. We've got like fifty minutes. We need half an hour to pack up, don't we really? Anyway. Or twenty minutes. So yeah, we're gonna have a look at Travelers. It's actually one of the nicest, prettiest towns in the whole of Spain. So yeah, my legs are really aching. Camilo, you said your legs aren't aching, is that true? I'm ready for the normal month, bro. Okay. Alright. Yeah, calle Pereza. A ver, eso dice Pereza. Calle Pereza. It's, that literally means in English like. It's like lazy street. Lazy street, yeah. We've got some cats. Mike, I can pretend to be you for a moment. This okay, is like, pretend, pretend. Hello, um, this is uh, Trouble Eyes. On the cold, no. Yeah. Camilo, what do you think? Oh, nothing? Okay, Camilo, don't <laughs> speak English. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> Okay, and do you want me to be you? Mike, que vamos a Malaga, coño, tío. Entiendes, entiendes su acento. Puedo, puedo, mira, mis piernas, es que no se duelen. No me duelen. <laughs> Pero, people, we are here for ustedes, nuestros fans. We are fans, Mike. You have fans? Not really. But the people that watch the videos is your fans. I've got right? about 50 people watching this video. Yeah, 15 people love you, bro. You know how many people, 50 people is in the street? It's, it's like a lot of people. It's the population of this town, isn't it? Yeah. That is true. So you are so popular. Change the mindset. Anyway, where's the centre, Camilo? The centre? I want to take a nice juicy photo with the sign, Trevelez. Uno de los pueblos más bonitos de España. Bro, I don't know. I never have been before here. I, yeah. Why do you pretend I don't know I where is the centre? I'll tell you what. I know where that sign is. Because I was driving, actually concentrating and like yeah. awake. Camila was like, oh, bro, my head, oh, feels sick. No, that's not, that's not true. That's he lying. Couldn't deal with, like, he lying. He lying roads. because he lying because he always he want and I feel bad, but he always is. You feel good? You have energy, bro? What? What? He want. He want. He really wish. And someday I wake up and say, bro, I'm so tired. But that's never happened. It doesn't happen. It's really <laughs> annoying, honestly. That's not my fault. Uh, me, right, okay, I admit, like, for the first hour or two of the day, I'm pretty, pretty slow, aren't I? But today you wake up early. Yeah, I got ready in literally 15 Earlier minutes. than me, and that's good. Exactly, mate. Right. Yeah. But you just have unlimited energy, and I, I just question, I just question you. 
I don't know, I eat really good. I go to the gym. I make exercise a lot. I don't know, my life is really cool. It's not about you. Oh, oh, sorry, no, sorry, no. that video is not about me, sorry. <laughs> but I'm the star, sorry, I'm the f***ing star.